Hi, today we're taking a look at conditions and if statements in Python. Python supports a lot of logical conditions that are used in math, like equals, which is written with two equal signs, not equals, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, and greater than or equal to. And these conditions can be used in a lot of different ways, but they're mostly used in if statements and loops. So an if statement is written by using the if keyword. So if we take a look at this example right here, we can see that this A variable has a value of 33 and this B variable has a value of 200. And this if statement is basically just saying that if this B is greater than A condition is true, then we will print B is greater than A. And make sure that after each condition in an if statement, you put a colon. That is really important. So since the value of B 200 is greater than the value of A 33, this condition is true. So we will print out the statement right here, B is greater than A. And if we try to run our code, we can see that just as we predicted, B is greater than A is printed out in the console. One really important part of Python, especially when you're dealing with if else statements and loops is indentation. Python relies on indentation or this sort of white space at the beginning of a line to define the scope in your code. So just to show you how important indentation really is, if we try to run this code without this indentation right here, we can see that we get an indentation error. So make sure that you indent your code when and where you need. So not only is there an if statement, but there's also an else if statement. And in Python, that's abbreviated to just the elif keyword. And it's Python's way of saying that if the previous condition or conditions were false, then we should try this other condition. So let's change around the code that we already have. And I'll just change the value of the B variable to 33. And I'm also going to add an else if statement. So A has a value of 33 and B also has a value of 33. So if we try to go through this condition right here, um, B is not greater than 33, since 33 is not greater than 33. So this if statement is going to be false, and we're going to skip this line right here. And instead, we're going to go to this else if statement right here. And we're checking to see if the condition A is equal to B is true. And since 33 is equal to 33, we're going to print out a and B are equal. And if we run our code, we can see that A and B are equal is printed out in the console. There's one final keyword that you need to know when dealing with if statements, and that is the else keyword. And the else keyword just catches anything that wasn't caught by earlier if statements or else statements. So if the previous conditions were all false, then we will just do whatever is indented underneath the else keyword. So let me show you guys an example. If A has a value of 200 and we add an else statement, So A has a value of 200 and B has a value of 33. So let's look at this first if statement right here. Is B gr uh, greater than A? So is 33 greater than 200? That's not true. So we're going to skip this line here and we're going to go to the elif statement. And we're checking to see if A and B are equal. And since 200 is not equal to 33, we're also going to skip this line right here. And since neither of these conditions were true, we're just going to go to the else statement and we're going to print out a is greater than b and when we run our code we can see that a is greater than b is printed out and make sure to put a colon after the condition for an if statement and an else statement and since an else statement does not have a condition make sure to put a, con uh, a colon after the else keyword now for whatever reason let's say that you want to write an if statement all in one line then you would use a one line if statement. And let me show you how that's done. Let's get rid of these for now. All you would need to do is, also let me change this condition right here. Let's make this A is greater than B. Okay. So 
all you would need to do is put whatever you want to run if the condition is true, like this print statement right here. You would just put that immediately after the colon in the if statement. So if we can see right here, it kind of read the it reads the same way, like if A is greater than B, then we will print this statement out. But instead, it's just all on one line. So yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. So if we try to run our code, since 200, the value of A is greater than 33, the value of B, we can see that A is greater than B is printed out to the console. So another thing that's also used in um, if statements and loops is the AND keyword. So the AND keyword is a logical operator and it's used to combine multiple conditional statements. So for example, let me try to show you another sort of code that we can look at here. Statement, sorry, that was my thing. So we have two conditions right here, and we're just going to put the keyword and in between both conditions if we want to use the and keyword. And how this works is that this entire if statement will only be true if both of these conditions are true. So it has a value of 200 the B variable has a value of 33 and C has a value of 500. And since A is greater than B or since 200 is greater than 33, this condition is true. And since C is greater than A, since 500 is greater than 200, this condition is also true. And since this condition is true and this condition is true, both conditions are true. So this entire if statement will only be true if both conditions are true. If this is false and this is true, or if this is true and this is false, the entire if statement will be false and this um, statement will not run. But since both of these are true and we try to run our code, we can see that both conditions are true is printed out in the console. We also have the OR keyword, which just like the AND keyword is another logical operator that is used to combine conditional statements. So if we change this AND here to an OR, and let's also change this around. Okay, and so um, the OR keyword, um, it works sort of in a similar way to the AND keyword, except that the number of conditions that needs to be true is less. So instead of having both conditions need to be true for this entire if statement to be true, at least one of these if statements needs to be true. So if both of the conditions are true, then the if statement will be true, but if this is true and this is false, or if this is false and this is true, then the if statement will still be true. So if we take a look at this example right here, A has a value of 200 and B has a value of 33. And since 200 is greater than 33, this condition is true. But if we look at this condition right here, 200 is not greater than 500, so this condition would be false. But since we have the OR keyword, at least one of the conditions needs to be true. And since this condition is true, this if statement will be true and we will run this statement right here. So if we run our code, we can see that at least one of the conditions is true is printed out in the console. Finally, let's talk about the pass statement. So if statements can't be empty, there needs to be some action or like a print statement indented underneath. But let's say that for whatever reason, you just want the if statement to have no content, you don't want anything to happen, then you can put the pass keyword underneath here and the code will still run without getting an error. So if we run this code, we can see that nothing is printed out, but at least we're not getting an error. So that's it for conditions and if statements in Python. Uh, thank you so much.